In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. We offer this weekend's Masses for the, for the repose of the souls of Joseph Giraudi, Marina Di Carlo, Irenia Castellanes, Felicitad, Mayan Wen, Dong Song Gang, Yong Sun Gang, Sandra Delphine and Pauline Armstrong, Stefan Saye, Joseph Tran, Doug Min, all the deceased members of Vo family, Agapito and Marie de Souza, Nilda Labalan, Felicitad Mayan Nguyen, deceased members of de Souza and Miranda family, and for special intentions of Marcia Vukovic uh, for her birthday. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, sing a lot with gladness for Jacob, and raise shouts for the chief of the nations. Proclaim, give praise, and say, Save, O Lord, your people, the remnant of Israel. See, I am going to bring them from the land of the north and gather them from the furthest parts of the earth. Among them, those who are blind and those who are lame, those with child and those in labor together. A great company, they shall return here. With weeping, they shall come, and with consolations, I will lead them back. I will let them walk by brooks of water, in a straight path in which they shall not stumble. For I have become a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter, and our tongue with shouts of joy. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for, for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we rejoiced. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses in the desert of Negev. May those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Those who go out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Every high priest chosen from among men is put in charge of things pertaining to God on their behalf to offer gifts and sacrifices for sin. He is able to deal gently with the ignorant and wayward, since he himself is subject to weaknesses. 
and because of this he must offer sacrifice for his own sins as well as for those of the people. And one does not presume to take this honor, but take it, takes it only when called by God, just as Aaron was. So also Christ did not glorify himself in becoming a high priest, but was appointed by those by by the one who said to him, You are my son, today I have begotten you. As it says also in, in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho, Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he cried out even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, Call him here. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he is calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. When Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, My teacher, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has made you well. Immediately the man regained his sight and followed Jesus on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There's an annual auction to have lunch with the legendary investor Warren Buffett that started back in 2000 and raising $25,000 then, but it has ballooned all the way to back in 2019, $4.57 million, which was then donated to the Glide Foundation. Basically, if, you, if donating that money, and if you are the winner, you get to have a chance to have lunch with Warren Buffett and be able to learn from him his biggest deals and pick his brains for his uh, investment advice. Despite this hefty price tag, more and more people want to outbid these people and they pay more money in order to have lunch with Warren Buffett simply for the reason being that the money that they spent um, is really nothing compared to millions of more dollars that they are going to make uh, as a result of listening and following the advice of Warren Buffett. So if you had a chance, what would you do? Probably um, clear your schedule, go to the restaurant, and make sure you find this quiet place where you can have a conversation with him so you can listen to everything he has to say and not miss anything. In our society today, we have a hierarchy of importance. We have people like Warren Buffett, whom the, the people pay attention to. These people command respect. People whom the society considers valuable, important, are smart people, wealthy, and talented individuals whose opinions matter. But who's on the bottom of the totem pole? On the bottom of the totem pole, we have people who are like the blind Bartimaeus. Because he was blind, he couldn't work. And if you can't work, you don't make money, you can't pay your taxes. So someone like Bartimaeus is not a contributing member of a society. He relies on the generosity of others. So the society on the whole considers him to be unimportant, insignificant, nobody. But unfortunately what happened is that this mob of people who were the important people within the society, certainly more than Bartimaeus, who had voice, tried to silence him when desperately he was trying to get the attention of Jesus and have this opportunity to be able to see again. It's been said by Mahatma Gandhi, who said, the true measure of any society can be found in how it treats its most vulnerable member. Unfortunately, what we saw in the gospel is that the mob of people tried to oppress him and silence him. Where were the disciples? What were they doing? Why didn't they stand up for this man? Why are they keeping silent? The end result was the disciples failed to step in 
and make a difference in the life of Bartimaeus. So what does Jesus do? He steps in. But one thing that he does is that he makes this remarkable difference in the lives of everyone. Not only Bartimaeus, he begins to be able to see through this great miracle. But one thing that happens is that all the people who are trying to silence Bartimaeus, people who oppressed him, people who are obstacles for Bartimaeus to get to Jesus. When Jesus says, call him, call him over, then these people change. They're no longer obstacles. They became the voice of that delivered the good news. They became advocates saying, take courage, get up. Jesus is calling you. In our society today, we have these two competing voices. We have one voice that wants to oppress us, silence us. And we have another voice that tries to help us, help to lift us up from the burden and feeling pain and helps to lead us to Jesus. One thing about the voice that oppresses and silences us is that it leaves us feeling broken, unwanted, rejected, even crippled on the side of the road away from Jesus exactly like Bartimaeus. The voice that tells us all the negative thoughts about ourselves. You're not good enough. You're stupid. You're too skinny. You're too fat. You're too ugly. Whatever it is that we have preconceptions of about ourselves and negative thoughts that we have about ourselves, the truth is none of these negative thoughts originated in us. Someone else has told us that. Someone else put those thoughts in our minds. I heard a story about this lady. She was just average sized woman and she was not very big, not very heavy. But the problem was that when she was two, uh, grade two, when she was just a little girl, uh, when her uncle came over and tried to you know, lift her and, and on all the children, all the nieces and nephews, um, he said something to her. He said, oh, you're a heavy one. She was just a little girl. But from that time on, those remarks scarred her so deeply that ever since then, she thought she was too heavy. She thought nobody could lift her, despite the fact that her boys work out and big and, and her husband is also strong, that everybody can lift her. But in, in her mind, she was blind to the reality and to the truth. Something I experienced in my personal life is when I was in grade two, um, I started to take uh, piano lessons. In fact, I took two lessons. I, what I really, really wanted was to go to martial art. And, uh, um, you know, if you were um, playing piano back in the olden days, you know, as a boy, you know, you were made fun of. So I made sure to look that nobody saw me going into the school. And then after the first day, um, I went home and I never practiced. And when I went back for the second lesson, my very impatient piano teacher looked at me and said, you have no talent. Don't waste your time trying. Just go home. That's what she said. Those words really scarred me. And for the whole, uh, the rest of my life, um, I, I never wanted to play music ever again. Until when I was in, uh, when I was in uh, internship, uh, seminary internship, when I was 24 years old, I saw, uh, I saw this gentleman play the guitar and I, and I felt like I wanted to play. So I ended up taking some lessons. My teacher told me that I was, I was very talented. And um, she said that I was more talented than she, she, she was. And when I asked, well, what do you mean by that? And she goes, well, the technique that I just showed you, like it took me three months to master. And you just picked that up when I showed you. I was talent, talented all, you know, for the whole time. But in my mind, I believed what that teacher has said. In the same capacity, we hear all these things that tell us that we're not good enough. And those words stay with us, oppressing us, crippling us, so we remain, remain on the side of the road, away from Jesus. No one is better than Mother Teresa when it comes to helping to lift someone up. We know Mother Teresa used to belong to a religious order, uh, Loretta's sisters, very, very well-to-do people, uh, sent, sent their kids to this private school. But she felt like that wasn't her mission. There's so many people who were struggling, 
um, on the street, hungry and cold, naked. Her heart was with them. She wanted to make a difference. So she ended up going all by herself to the poorest of the poor um, um, neighborhood of India and then founded the Home for the Dying, giving people love and dignity that they deserve uh, while, the, while they were dying. And, they, and she also brought home these children, infants, babies that were abandoned on, on, on the street, um, raising them. She founded orphanage. So one day um, I was told that uh, um, the drought was so bad and there was not enough food and there was not enough food in the orphanage so uh, since she, she cared for uh, all the children that she was taking care of like as if, if they were her own children so she couldn't just stay there so she had to, she, she had to go out and do something so she get to to go on the, on the street and begging for food so she went to one store and then the shopkeeper was extremely rude so when Mother Teresa asked for um, some help, the man came around and spit on her hand. So she wiped that hand and then with a smile she, she um, turned the other hand and said, well thank you for what's, what you've given me, but now will you give something for the children? This great humility and selfless act shocked the shop owner. He was extremely embarrassed. He apologized and ended up helping her and he's been helping Mother Teresa and sisters um, ever since then. Sure, you're probably thinking that was Mother Teresa, but I'm not Mother Teresa. But you have to understand that Mother Teresa grew to be who she was. She became that. But in the beginning, she was all by herself in her effort. Despite the fact that there was a whole mob of people telling Bartimaeus to be quiet, we can be that one voice that makes a difference in the life of Bartimaeus or someone like him who is being oppressed, who is being silenced. We can be that voice that makes a difference by helping to lift them up. And that is the calling for all of us. So let us ask God today to help us to realize that vocation. May God give us courage for us to be able to do that each and every day. Let us pro profess our faith together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We are the people the Lord has saved. As we follow him along the way of faith, let us lift our hearts to his Father in prayer. For the bishops and priests who teach and lead God's people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For wise and responsible judges who administer the laws of our nation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people suffering from failing eyesight or blindness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For joyous faith in the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sick, especially Leah Messina, Catherine Thompson, Joan Gibbons, Tony de Gaspers, Lily DiCarlo, and Julian Call, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who sleep in Christ, especially Joseph Giraudi, Marina Di Carlo, Reina Castellanes, Felicidad Mayan Wen, Dong Sung Gang, Yong Sun Gang, Sandra Delphine and Pauline Armstrong, Safan Saye, Joseph Tran, Doug Min, deceased fam family, members of Vo family, Agapito Marie de Souza. Nilda, Labalan, D'Souza, and Miranda families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, as we lift our hearts to you in humble supplication, so we prepare to return to you our love and gratitude in the Eucharist of your Son, our eternal priest, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. You'll become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to all your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty, and rejoice in your, in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep <clears throat> in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be choirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.